Having connection issues while using Surfshark VPN on Linux? No worries, as today I'll go over several tips that you can try to make your VPN connection fast and stable. Let's get right into it. Before we get into each solution, let me clarify that this video is focused on the Surfshark Linux app. If you are using a manual connection, I highly recommend switching to the app because it provides a nice graphical user interface, the WireGuard protocol, and is much easier to use. You can download the app from the Surfshark website. Here at the top, simply click on VPN and then select Linux. Then just hit the download button and follow the installation instructions. Speaking of the app, if you are having any kind of issues, it is always a good idea to make sure that you are using the latest version. By going to the settings and then app settings, you can click on this button here to check if a new version is available. With that being said, let's get into our first solution, which is also the easiest one. Try connecting to various VPN server locations. To do that, just go back to the app's main screen and choose a server with the least server load. That is indicated by this small bubble next to every location. The less filled the bubble is, the more stable that location will be. By clicking on static IP or multi-hop, you can access more servers, which I suggest trying out as well. If that doesn't help, let's try changing our VPN protocol. So let's go back to the settings and go to the VPN settings. Here, we will have a choice of using WireGuard and OpenVPN UDP or TCP. I recommend trying each one to see which one gives you the best experience. Generally, WireGuard tends to be the fastest and OpenVPN TCP the most stable. Next tip would be to try and disable app features and other interfering apps. Let's head to the settings and VPN settings again. Clean Web is a neat feature that blocks ads and trackers as you browse, but sometimes it can cause issues. So here, try disabling it. In terms of apps, make sure to disable any apps that may interfere with your internet connection. Examples include other VPN apps, file sharing apps, cloud storage apps, firewalls, etc. Also, a common mistake is having the Surfshark extension connected at the same time as your desktop app. This can cause issues because the Surfshark desktop app already secures your entire device, including your browser. So disconnect your browser extension and only use the app to connect to the VPN. If none of the before shown solutions help, then let's move on to some of the more advanced things that you can try to improve your VPN connection. One is changing your default DNS or domain name system. Default DNS is set on your network by your internet service provider. Sometimes their DNS can interfere and make it impossible to connect to a VPN. So let's change your current DNS to Surfshark DNS. I know that sounds super complicated, but trust me, it's easy. Keep in mind that depending on your distro, some steps may vary, but here I am using Ubuntu. First, we will need to open the terminal window, which you can do from the app selection menu and typing in terminal in the search. Or my personal favorite is by using a shortcut by pressing Control, Alt, and T keys all together. Now, in the terminal window, we need to enter the following two commands. The first one is sudo rm-r forward slash etc forward slash resolve.com. And the second one is sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash resolve.com. After typing in the second command, the system will ask you for your computer password. So just type it in and press enter. Now we will need to enter two lines, which will be our new DNS addresses. First is name server 208-67222222. And the second one is name server 208-67220220. After typing that in, let's save and close the file by clicking Ctrl and X keys together on your keyboard and then confirming the action by pressing Y. Finally, we need to enter one more command into the terminal and that is sudo chatter plus I forward slash etc forward slash resolve.com. If that one doesn't work, then try adding dash F after chatter. Now, all we have to do is restart our computer and see if our connection improves. Another advanced solution that you can try is disabling IPv6. At the moment, Surfshark does not support the IPv6 protocol, which some ISPs use. So disabling it can help you connect to the VPN and resolve any connection issues you may have. Keep in mind that disabling IPv6 will not negatively affect your network or your internet connection. Let's start by opening our terminal window. Here, typing the following command, sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash sysctl.com. A new window will open where you will need to paste in four lines in total. I will leave these lines of code in the description below this video so that you can quickly copy and paste them. Now to save it, press Ctrl plus O and then Ctrl plus X keys together on your keyboard. Finally, apply the changes by typing in sudo 
sysctl-p. Now try testing your VPN connection one more time. But that is all for me. Take care.